So in my evening quest for the small pearl bordered fritillary, I have stumbled across this magnificent beech tree, which you'd think, oh no, that's a shame, it's blown over. However, it's still growing. Look at all these incredible stems that have just cropped up from the main trunk, still going skyward to create this mini forest out of one tree. Look at that. What a root plate. <laughs> incredible, incredible structure. Fabulous tree. And you can see where it's sort of layered and gone again over there. Look, brilliant. Never seen anything like that. <laughs> and I've seen some trees. Right, the search for this small pearl bordered fritillary continues. Well, I've just seen that wind-blown beech tree. Goes to show how windy it can get up here because we've got the sea just that way. But this is actually the root of a yew tree. Just incredible. I'll back up a bit and show you the stem of this, or the trunk of this thing. You can see it sort of blew over. That's the main tree going off up there. But then you have these sort of co-dominant stems of this newly formed yew tree, which isn't huge. But I mean, this yew is so slow growing that could be as much as three, four hundred years old. So, uh, wow. Just incredible. <laughs> Some amazing trees on this place. And another wonderful specimen to find. This, which might look like a yew or a conifer, is actually a juniper, which is uh, one of the sort of native coniferous shrubs found in the UK. And uh, don't see many of these, that's for sure. These lovely bristly needles. I love the, the twisted shape of this trunk. Absolutely fantastic. Really are some, some treasure troves on this place. So this is classic small pearl bordered fritillary habitat here at Arnside Knot. Lots of lovely birds with trefoil. As you can see, lots of short grasses, fine grasses. Lots of open clearings with bramble, which is one of their larval, sorry, one of their nectar plants, one of their favorite nectar plants, bramble. And Lots of clearings for bracken and some violets underneath, so fingers crossed. So I'm here at Arnside Knot, which is a nature reserve uh, owned by the National Trust and it is uh, in Cumbria just south of the uh, the Lake District, if you like, and I have come here in particular. Last knockings, it's about seven o'clock at night now, and I knew it'd be a bit tricky, but I was in search for one particular butterfly, and that is the small pearl bordered fritillary. I'd seen that there'd been a few um, sort of reported on the uh, Cumbria Butterflies website, and uh, there's one here right next to me in the grass, and they like to rest up on these heads of these ribwort plantain where they are incredibly camouflaged. I'm going to try and slowly show you if you can just see. In front of me there. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't think my camera is going to focus on the butterfly itself, so I'll put a clip in, but they are just Delightful, let me turn around. So these butterflies are 
lovers of uh, woodland clearings or moorland or damp valleys if you like where I've seen them before in uh, North Yorkshire and they are renowned for being called the small pearl bordered fritillary because of the number of whitish pearls uh, creamy coloured pearls you can actually see on the underside of the wings uh, fabulous little butterfly and um, they actually lay their eggs on violets so they are uh, sort of using the violets that are usually associated with uh, bracken around the edges of these clearings so uh, a perfect little spot for them and I've just seen another one as well which is just brilliant I never thought I'd get them at seven o'clock in the evening of course it's perfect time of day to find them they're not very active they're sort of getting ready to roost so absolutely perfect I'm going to leave this one to it and uh, see if I can find another one I wonder how many people would just blissfully walk past without <laughs> checking the heads of these ribwork plantain, which I've learned are absolutely perfect camouflage for them. They really are just a great little match. You'd, you'd hardly ever spot that until you flush it up. So what a fabulous little insect. Well, personally, I could sit and look at these chaps all night. <laughs> However, we've got a hotel we've booked into for a meal at eight o'clock, so better get going. But uh, just as I'm filming this last one in front of me here, there's a nightingale starting to call in the bushes behind me. So I typically you stop now, but what a way to end the day. Tomorrow we are off up further into Scotland and our pursuit of some more butterflies. See you soon. Bye.